So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kind of sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat-down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd. Turn it off, please. You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Don't call me new guy, or rookie, or any other condescending nickname. Especially since from what I hear, you guys have only been here a week. Okay, suit yourself. And you're right, I've only been here a week, but I've been doing this since I was a kid in Mexico. Which is a lot longer than you. So what, your dad or uncle were wrestlers or something? <laughs> Must be nice. No, I got myself here. And I got myself involved with some of the biggest projects in Hollywood, and now WWE. What's your point? Take a look around. You might feel at home in a weight room, but out there in the ring, it's a whole different world. You can either learn from people who have experience, or be stubborn and fall flat on your face. Not relying on anyone else but myself has gotten me this far. So... I'm going to keep doing that until I'm more famous than The Rock. So you're here to be bigger than The Rock? Or because all your acting gigs dried up? I'm also here to beat up nobodies, like you. We'll see about that. Hey, who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce. The biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. Uh, bigger, actually. I haven't had time to watch Japanese wrestling. I was too busy carving out a successful career in Hollywood. So you're some kind of actor slash reality TV star? Man, you guys are all the same. You come in our sport thinking it's gonna be easy, but you're in for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with, but. I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to LA with a broken face. Maybe you could play a, an ER patient or something. You remind me of a lot of the guys in Hollywood. All talk. Luckily for them, they don't have to deal with me anymore. 
Unfortunately, you do. Yeah, in a wrestling ring, which you have very little experience in. You're in my arena now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you stayed in your lane. We'll see. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Are you a referee here, or...? <laughs> no, man. I'm training to be a wrestler. I know I'm a bit on the smaller side, but I'm actually crossing over from another line of work, too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. So that explains it. You're Lawler's charity case. It's not like that. I deserve to be here. You'll see. Sure. If I need a mascot to cheer me on, I'll let you know. Whatever. I was gonna ask you to autograph something for me, but now I'm not sure I want it. Probably not worth anything anyway. I signed a whole bunch of waivers already, saying I'm not liable for anything I do to you in the ring. How about I give you one of those? I'd prefer a signed script, but I guess that'd be cool too. Thanks. See you out there. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Shawn Michaels. Uh, choose from the guy standing next to you. I'm not an option. Look, I could beat one of these guys, but that would be expected. I want to do the unexpected in WWE, like defeating a two-time Hall of Famer on my first day here. I know that might rub people the wrong way, but I don't care. I want to make an impact, and I want to do it right now. Uh, Hunter, you seeing this? This is your chance to say you're kidding. I'm not. It's cool. I'll do it. Sean, that's really not necessary. Look, if I was standing there in his shoes 30 years ago, I might have said the exact same thing. I'm not the HBK I used to be, but one thing hasn't changed. I don't lie down for anybody. Let's see what you got, kid. Let's go, Sean. Teach him why you're the showstopper. Sorry, I was a big fan. Old habit.
I'll hand it to you. Took a lot of guts to call me out and then back it up in the ring. I said I was gonna make an impact, and that's exactly what I did. It was a risk, and also a bit of a shortcut. From my experience, those two things don't always work out. But this one did, didn't it? I guess so, since Triple H just texted me that he saw our match on his live feed. He said he was impressed, and he'd be keeping an eye on you. Well, there you go. Everything turned out great, didn't it? Yeah, except for my sore back. Wasn't exactly planning on competing today. Now I'm paying the price. Just keep in mind this was one match. You still have a lot to prove before you're ready for WWE. What the hell was that? What do you mean? I mean calling out Shawn Michaels on your first day. There are unwritten rules to follow here. There's a system in place. Who do you think you are to just ignore all that? I think I'm the top prospect now. No, just because you caught an old timer off guard doesn't make you the top anything. That title still belongs to me and everyone here knows it. That's not what Triple H posted on social media. Wait, what did he say? Man, it sure is easy to get in your head. I'll keep that in mind going forward. 